Let's go paint! I'm Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and I want to help people who are non artists become artists because, boy, I wasn't an artist at the beginning. And anybody can do this. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. So let's talk about today. Last week, this is going to be part two. We prepared for, I want you to see how to repair things. It's really easy for you to watch me and you just watch me put the paint on. But there's a lot more stuff about doing this than just putting paint on, looking at shapes, looking for things that'll make it look prettier, colors, values, shapes, all that has to have come first. Then there's also the point, the fact you need to be able to mix colors. It's not just put paint brush on, done now. That's what they do and it cracks me up because I know they did a lot more stuff that you never see. So that was what last week. This week I'm just gonna paint. But you'll be able to see my mixing and I'll tell you what I'm thinking as I'm going through on this. Both of my uh, Facebook page, Drop That Brush, and the, just the description below, you can print out the sketch, the picture, and value sketch. So we talked about all the things that I would normally bring up. So you know what? <laughs> Pretty much you should, if you watched part one, you're going to know everything that's going on or what I think is going to go on. So let's go paint. Well, hi. This is unusual where I start with the picture before I've actually done it. However, I did this and didn't tape it. So now, and I don't want to do the same thing. So I'm going to switch colors up, but basically I'll still use a lot of the same colors, but probably I'll make the background more warm. You ready for this? All right, I just wanted to show you. It came out cute and I just didn't tape. Sorry, here we go again. Yay. Alrighty, I'm going to use a big, big brush. Um, it is a Neptune Princeton 8 quill. On this one, I did the bird first, and then I did the background. This time, I'm going to do the background first. Maybe this is a bad idea. We'll see. I'm curious. I'm not sure. But first, let me go ahead and get things water. I'm going to wet everything, even though there's some that I like to be white, but I'll try to, I'll either pick it out and you're just going to let that soak in for a minute while I'm trying to get colors. This is a four. Boy, look at that. Just stay there. Um, you know, you can do this. Just, just, I don't know if you are aware of this, but I can paint the bottom and then flip it over. If you have a board or whatever, and it will stay, it won't move. And see, don't move at all, just stays there. And it gives me lots of time to play with. So let's do, hmm, I think I'm going to do warm yellows. And I'm going to do coral. Now, because everything's wet, I have to use like a very thick consistency, at least milk, if not even cream. And you're wondering why I'm not mixing. I'm going to let the, the paper do the mix for me. I think I don't, I don't think I like that. I think I'm going to go back to this sooner, faster. And so I'm going to, um, oh, it's just going to melt on in. All right, not going to argue with it. You know what? See, here's the thing. I can argue or I can just do this. No big deal. You know, people worry so much about, oh, if it's not perfect. But in reality, there is no perfect. And it's okay to not be perfect. 
And I don't mind having that because even if it mixes into it a little bit, it will still look pretty. And I'm just going to go through and go ahead and let it just kind of bleed in how it wants to. Um, I don't want to insist it has to be this and so. So I'm just going to let it bleed in, but I'm going to move it this way. I'm going to put a little pink here. And I'm going to put some yellow here because I know I'm going to use it. And I'm looking at this and thinking, okay, what do I need? There's going to be color here. Definitely. And what if I put a little bit like a sunscreen? A, um, what's it called? A sunset. Now I have some of this I want to be. I'm going to mix some of this too. I don't pretty much, even that's kind of warm. Pretty much most of this is um, warm. Now, I'm looking at, okay, what do I want to keep white? And it's easy enough because it's wet. I, now, this is going to be dark anyway, so I don't really care. I left an area, so if it moves in, that's okay. Maybe I'll even move it around a little bit. And you know, this is just fun. You know, the funny part is so much of what we do it should just be fun. You should just be having a good time. You say, yeah, that was pretty. To me at least, that's what this is for. You should have a good time. Now, the only places I wanted white was here, here, and there. And how E was it to just allow it to tap it in rather than having, it doesn't do anything bad. It just looks pretty. There's no real, I'll get a nice clean wash. Say I got it a little too dark, which I don't know, have my spray bottle. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to dry this. So you see where I'm at? All's good. Very different than the other one, but it makes it fun. All right, I have to be able to um, mix a gray. Can I make this I, I know this makes a good gray, which is what I was using, but I wonder if I should try a different color, just so it's not the same. Let's go with this. This should make me a pretty good gray. So we use this, and this will give me a gray, Piedmonte Genuine, and there's my background. I'm not sure what happened, but I kind of like it. I think it was something on my, um, on my table that I was blow drying on, that's okay. You know, we worry too much about little stuff. Let's just enjoy ourselves. That should be your goal. I can't find my 12 of this Velvet Touch, um, but I think I'll go ahead and use the, it's a 14, and I'll grab a 10 if I need a point. Let me get some yellow. As far as I'm concerned, Azo is just a pretty color. <laughs> really is. And I'm just going to lay in some color in there. Nothing great, nothing exciting. Just getting color so I know where it's supposed to be yellow. I'm going to avoid the highlight of the eyes. Otherwise, you know, the rest of it goes around. I don't care. I'm going to, I don't want this to be a hard edge. So I'm just going to soften it and go into the, uh, and you can see how juicy it is. I'm not going to fight it. I'm avoiding that highlight. There'll be a highlight there too. I'll make it a highlight. Right here is supposed to be white. And so I'm just gonna soften it up and allow it to blend as needed. Now you can see, because I blended this into it, I've already started got a shadow shape going, which I love. Here it's all wet, so it'll just kind of melt in. And if I use a little coral, that will make a darker bottom. Now I can see here where I'm not sure it's gonna dry too good. 
Um, right now, the values are going to be the same, which means I'll probably have to increase the value of here, but we'll see. You know, my first, this is my first wash on the bird, and so it will, it will, uh, we'll just kind of play with it and see. See right here? I'm going to put a water here. I don't want it to, my paint to go into it, but I want a soft edge, and so this is the easiest way to get a soft edge. So right here, you can see it is wet. Here it's dry. And I'm going to use this color and a little of this Piamonte. Oops. You see that? I didn't mean to go that. Is that a big deal? No. Don't freak. Because all I put water on it, right? All I have to do is just touch it. There are certain places it's a little dark, so I'm just gonna throw in some of the dark here, here. I don't like how it's blending in there. It shouldn't have blended it. Maybe it was still wasn't dry enough. I'm not sure. No big. Okay, I do want this to be a soft edge, so I'm gonna add more water. And if it melts into that, I'm not gonna worry about it. Now, if you can see, I have not put water over here, and I do want to have water. I want it to be a nice, soft edge. Okay, why did it do that? Well, because I didn't bother to tap my brush. And so that's why I did that. Now, to note, this is a soft edge. This is a hard edge, and it's pretty dark. I do want it to mix, though, a little bit, which means I have to move it on the paper. You can see this is a really soft edge. Um, it kind of made it into a hard edge. So I'm just gonna gently fix it. I don't want it really hard, but I don't want it really soft either. Isn't that helpful? Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I can use what I have in the, the uh, my thing and I can work on the wood a little bit. I want it to have a little splatter right here. It yep, should make it look more look wood-like than it might be. The less I can get the value in per, right on the on on it, the better off it is for me. Because then I don't have to play. The more I play, the less likely I get in trouble. Honest, I promise. You may not believe this, but it's true. And this is Pretty much, I just want to make sure I'm using the same colors, and so that's why you see me keep using the same the same colors, is because it's it makes it look nice. All right, there's this really dark area. Do you see it? And then I'm gonna get this dark, dark, dark. And you can see how dark that gets when I started to uh, to bring the blue. And it's a different blue that I was using in the other one. So, it, you know, this way I can get a chance to check it out something else. I'm going to tip it because I, I want the dark to be in this particular area. So I'm going to just move it over here. I don't like how hard this is. I'm just going to soften an edge there on the edge. I, what I love was that little stroke. Let me see if I can get another rough stroke. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to squeeze it with a towel. Okay. And then I'm going to go sideways and go fast. Yeah, I like that. And see, I love that. I'll just leave that alone. Isn't that pretty? All right, that's a great start for the wood. What I'm gonna do is just do a little splattering and kind of let it do what it wants to do. I'm not gonna freak about this. 
it, it's a piece of wood. I don't want it to be your focus. It's not that important. Let's work on getting some grays. I'm gonna use the same colors that I'm using on the branches. I'm making it very warm by putting uh, red and other things into it. And I'm going back and forth with this. Hopefully it's still kind of wet because I really do want it to uh, kind of melt in there. I may not get good gray in this. We'll see. I have to see when it dries. There's a little white area that I'm just going to kind of go around. And if I don't like the way, it, the, if it doesn't look a gray enough, I'll think about it. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, yep, that probably won't make enough grayish. Let me try this. See if that gives me more of a, well, it does give me a gray. Now, uh, you notice I'm doing a shape. I'm just gonna use a shape. You know, on the other one, I made it look like I didn't, I made it look like I, it was not flying away, but this time I really think I'm going to make it really make it like a sort of fly away. So I, what I'm going to do while it's still wet, I'm going to open it up and soften it and just let it go into the background. See? pretty. It may not be a very gray color, but gosh, it's pretty. I can live with that. Sometimes I'll just take pretty over uh, correct at any time. Now I can see right here, this melted right in nicely. This is really a hard edge. So I'm going to quickly just do a real soft to soften it and melt it in. And I'm going to put a little bit more of this here, there, and everywhere, just to make sure I get gray. Ooh, all right, ooh, see what happened? That is almost, it's trying to dry, and if I do it, it's gonna do weird things, so I'm just gonna make movements and not worry about it. If it looks weird, I can live with it. Well, I'll fix it later. If this is supposed to be in flight, so is this. I have to bring this up. Here, this is about the same value. Right here is the same value, but it's kind of like this value. Um, and then there's a little dark here and a little white, and then there's dark on the edges. So let me see if I can get a good dark. Start with that. I'm gonna still mix these three colors and see if I can get something that, if nothing else, I should be able to get a you know, I've never mixed these. I wish now I had played with this, but you know, just didn't happen. So there we go. All right, so we're gonna go for that. Now, I do want this to be soft too. I just wanted to dry it a little bit so it didn't just fly out. So I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna come put water, that's all I'm doing is putting water, and just kind of saying, come out, come out wherever you are. And allow it to do what it wants to do. There is a, uh, a actual line here, it's a good place to put a couple if I'm doing this. <laughs> Just softening. Oh, I forgot. And there's a big line, hard line right here. And then there's another hard line, but I don't think it's too, I think it's too dry to, or too wet to be able to handle that. So we're gonna leave that alone. All right, so far, not so gorgeous, but I'm not done. So you have to realize, at least for me, every time I do anything, if it's, it always looks ugly until it's done. I know that sounds bad, but it, it's the truth. And soften some edges, because that looks weird. 
Now it's probably too late to do it. Never hopeful. Anything? Hell no. <laughs> but I'm liking that. That's cool looking. Ooh, if he's gonna fly, probably his tail's gonna fly also. So let me grab that and get a soft edge. Fly, fly away. I'm happy with this. And it doesn't look gorgeous yet. Just chill. Don't get excited. Everything has color on it. That's basically what I really want, is I want some kind of color everywhere. I have to make a decision. Is this going to be darker or this is going to be darker? I think I'm going to go with dark this. I'm looking at the values. So this value and this are about the same. This is about the same. I'd say that's pretty close to same. So I'm looking at values. Right? How do my values look? Okay, I'm okay with that. We haven't done, we haven't messed that up. Let's work on his eyes. The minute you pop the eyes in, all of a sudden you're like, ooh, ah. So I'm gonna go smaller brush. This is an eight. All right, how am I gonna get the darks? The dark darks? Uh, Cause I don't think what I got will actually make the dark darks. And do I want darks? that granulate. No, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Alrighty then. All right, well, I'm going to give you my typical dark red iron oxide with this. Okay, that wasn't it. Try it again. Red iron oxide with this dark. Look at that. Woohoo! It didn't take much, man. It just, wow. Okay, that kind of was like, Wow. It almost has like a little teardrop. Let's put a little dark around that beak. get some of this. I want it to be light, but just a little light brown and kind of mix it. I don't want it to be totally, but I do want to. There we go. That works. Here's a problem. This really is the same value as that. Oops, that ain't gonna work. I'm gonna leave that little pile because if I want black, I know where it's at. between that nose and so I'm just going to soften it and put it in there. And you got a, a darker color. Now it's actually a shadow color and I'm not real sure that I want to use that. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm going to like it enough. I'm gonna just kind of kind of play by ear and if I don't like it then I won't then I yeah I won't use it if I don't like it but I'm gonna cover this let's make this the shadow color <laughs> I know this is not the correct color but I don't like the other one and why should I do something if I don't like it so I'm gonna use this I've done this about three times now, and now I'm just messing around. And you know what? That's okay. Now this is hard edged and it doesn't look right. So I'm gonna fix that. I think I'm gonna lighten it up just a tad. Well, 
I am just, I think I'm gonna stop playing. What do you think? Am I playing? I think maybe I'm playing. And it's drawing, which means bad things are gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and put color in the feet. Let me do a little detail about that beak. And let me get a little bit ins and outs. wanted to pull this out. I want you to show how easy it is, particularly if you're doing um, yellows or light colors, you can really pull it right back out. That's one of the reasons why I don't worry about uh, things. Look at that. Boom. Back it comes. I want this to be a soft edge, so I'm going to just soften it. And I'm going to put a little bit of color. Now it's wet. I don't want it to be too wild here. So I'm just gonna squeeze it. Blend it in a little bit. It's already as wet, so it should, I'm hopeful, would be enough to uh, show that there is a separate. I'm gonna put a dark color just on top of this. Um, and then I'm gonna pull out something. I'm not doing it too dark, and I still want some color in there off and on. Now, I don't know if you can see, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out some of this. I just put it in, now I'm gonna pull it out. Cleaning my brush and I'm gonna make it a little, a little movement there. Not totally straight. Okay, Let's see how that works. All right, I'm gonna let that finish dry. I think that was a bad idea. Hey, everybody has problems, you know, it happens. It's not the end of my world. We're gonna put little line work and because I don't want it to be hard I'm just gonna go ahead and put some water here I want to make sure that it doesn't just melt all over the place so I'm gonna squeeze it just a little bit squeeze 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 I'm gonna roll it and I'm going in and out. I'm not trying to make sure that it's perfect. I just want that feeling of, oh yeah, that's feathers. Oh, I saw that. There seems to be a little more dark right here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. So over here, same thing, I'm going to squeeze. bottom kind of separating I'm just gonna soften it so it doesn't look you know like like I did on purpose which I did but I don't want you to tell you don't want to say oh yeah that's why Soften it on the inside too, on both sides. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm just gonna do little, little bitty lines because basically that's all it looks like. And you don't really know what's going on. It's just, you know, little, little bitty lines. So 
this is me fixing something. Uh, and I wish I didn't mess with it at all. It wasn't that big of a deal. Why did I bother? See, drop that brush. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. It's like, ah. <laughs> So we, I kind of in and out painted. So it wasn't, you know, just really obvious. So I could have just done every single little thing, but it wouldn't be as much fun, honest. Wouldn't lie to you about that. <laughs> where I did that. So I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit. to get rid of that lovely uh, movement. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna avoid where I did that because I thought it was cool looking. I'm basically trying to get a feeling like wood. I don't wanna actually have to make wood or try to make wood. I can't make wood. But what I can do is make it do fun things. want a darker color right here. I'm just getting really clean color. So I'm going to put some water here and I'm going to get this more saturated. Now I don't want it to be, it can touch but then I want to let it just kind of go back into this, what was there before. Um, and then I will actually soften this one more time. Just because, see right here, the values are really good. And if I play with it, I'll have issues. So I'm, you know, I'm thinking about all this as I'm going. This, I could use some more color here. I will come through and soften pretty much everything. Clean this up by just doing this and putting it back into the uh, ground. Um, just a soft edge. All right, now I got messes. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Why? Well, I should have waited and done this without putting up. Right now, everything is drawing and it will give me grief. And now I'm going to have to either wet it down real fast or I'm going to have a huge mess. So let me see if I can fix it. I like that because it gave it a glow underneath the bird. I want to get the edges. I don't like the fact that it's, so I'm just going to soften everything. I'm just going to put water on it and let it all soften back out. 
Last thing. I'm about done. There's a little piece here and right here. It's a little, and I really don't, I'm going to purposely just soften this out on the edge because I don't want you to go over there looking. <laughs> yeah. just going to pretend it's something. I'm not sure what it is because I can put a lot of information on this, but is that important? Is that the focus? Do you want to say bird or do you want to say wood? Now I can spend a, this. There was a lot of stuff and I think I do need one more dark at the bottom. I just want to show the rolling in a couple of places, but really this just is not, it's not an important thing. So I don't want you to spend a whole bunch of time playing with it. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, do a little splatter here. And I want to pull out a couple little areas. This is such a, a black spot. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit here and there. Um, it doesn't have to be important, but you know, just something. So it's not just one big color by itself. What do you like better? Number one. Or number two. They're different. You certainly get the opportunity. Very warm, very, very cool. I kind of like both of them. You tell me which one you like best. I had fun. Did you have fun? You know, I changed my mind a few times. I did things that weren't quite what I planned, but I enjoyed it. And that's what art should be like. Now, I know there are people that do this for a living, but I do it for the joy of it. It gives me joy watching the colors float around. <laughs> it's not even funny how much I like this. Not only how to do it, but how to prepare for your paintings so that you have less difficulties. Don't forget, in the description below, there is the, the value sketch, the picture, and the sketch. I also, one more time, to thank Roy L. Heron for his picture, his uh, reference picture. When you're playing with your brush and you don't no idea what you're doing, drop that brush, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. You have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.